Americans, why do you prefer gas vehicles over electric ones? My gas car can go forward and go backward. Let's see an electric car do that. The power strip I use for charging my devices is already too crowded. It'd be disrespectful to the troops not to use the gas they died for. I'm waiting to skip electric and just go straight to nuclear. Talking about gas prices with people makes me feel like I'm a part of something. I can't off myself by running an electric car in my garage. President Biden has asked Americans to come sit by him and keep him company until the end. The president was seen today patting the side of his bed, beckoning all 330 million Americans to come take his hand so he wouldn't have to be alone in his final moments. The president reportedly urged Americans to come closer so he could, quote, see their nice smiles and hold their hand one last time. Biden then pointed at Vice President Kamala Harris and said, not you. Flight attendants, what is something passengers always do that makes you angry? I absolutely hate it when they scream humans were not meant to fly. This is madness. Right after takeoff, the time to work through your apprehensions about flying machines was before you got on board. When a passenger asks if they can switch seats so they can sit with the other terrorists in their group, why does it matter who you're sitting by if you're just going to be dead in 30 minutes anyway? When they ask for an extra Sky Mall to masturbate to, listen man, it's one Sky Mall magazine per person. I don't make the rules. Someone always feels like it's their duty to run up to you and tell you that a fire has broken out in the bathroom. Don't bother us with things like that. We're flight attendants, not firefighters. When someone tries to tell you that they are out on the wing, I literally cannot hear you all the way out there no matter how loud you shout. There's always one guy who says I'm too drunk to pilot this flight to Tampa. That's what you said yesterday pal and we got there just fine. Can you help me put my bag in the overhead department? Kiss my ass. Archaeologists have discovered an ancient femur that they believe could make a mouthwatering bone broth. Archaeologists say the prehistoric thigh bone has been naturally aging the ground for over 65,000 years, resulting in the ultimate combination of richness and flavor. They believe that by adding some sea salt, aromatic vegetables, and a bay leaf, they may be able to develop a femur stock of historic proportions. Archaeologists around the world are already calling it the most delicious find of the century. Damn, that looks good! This is not an authorized ad for Country Croc. We're not getting paid or anything. No one asked us to do this. It's out of our own love and admiration for what we feel is the best margarine currently on the market. We're not seeing a dime for this. The truth is, for a while now, we've been having trouble thinking about anything other than Country Croc. Our therapist says fixation is typically a desire tethered to an object, consciously or not, during one's psychosexual development. We tried pills, but they made us feel crazy. A lot of attachment disorders are misdiagnosed. Ours is really just country croc specific. We look at other butter substitutes and feel nothing. We look at our children and feel nothing. Why can't we have just this one thing to feel good about? Are we not entitled to a single vice that makes life incrementally more bearable? We're not hurting anybody, 